Well, well, Mr. Archimedes, let's test your theory in real action. Ha ha ha! Fast systems already. Launch! Great jump! Ten points. Splashiness, three points. Unsinkability, zero points. Floating, perfect! And whoosh! How do you like it, Archimedes? The jump gets a B, but check out this splash! Triple flip and bingo! Zero splatter! The water pushed out these three swimmers! It's time for the final boss! <laughs> oh, shoot! I lost the most precious specimen! Sammy, if you threw the metal ball into the toilet, it would get clogged! It would be sacrificed in the name of science! <laughs> what if we leave Archimedes in our toilet in peace and check out Newton's law? What's the connection between the balls and the scientist who got hit in the head by an apple? <laughs> You'll see. The toilet's needed for, um, less scientific purposes. <laughs> So, what about Newton? And what are these bricks and rails doing here? We will test the rolling friction of balls. It's described in Newton's second law. Wow, wow, wow! Holy cat noise! Who do you want to drive me crazy? Why? I'm speaking English, using English words. Let's start from the beginning. Rolling friction? And how many laws does this Newton have anyway? Ooh, are you ready for a mini lecture on physics? <gasps> then let's start! Actually, the story about the apple is just a myth. Isaac Newton was developing the theory of gravitation for a long time. And the apples falling from the tree in his garden were driving him to the right conclusions. Interesting. Mm-hmm, I agree. But this great scientist described many other curious facts. He came up with three laws of motion that other scientists named after him. Huh, what happens if I break one of them? <laughs> Sammy, it's impossible. It's nature. Newton described things he saw in nature. And called them laws? How clever. Sammy, can I suspend my lecture for a sec and show something to our viewers? Oh, I won't miss electron architecture either! So come on, show me! I'm making windows in our future tower. We'll need them to put the rails. In total, there will be two towers, through which the railroad will pass. A plastic road, actually. Sammy, could you assemble the second tower like this? Oh, exactly like this. To a T. <laughs> easy peasy. However, I won't break any law. You better not. Speaking about Newton's laws, these bricks also follow one of them. The first law says that while the object is not acted upon by an external force, or the forces are balanced, the object remains at rest. But <laughs> if I move one of the bricks, the second and the third laws will come into force. Guys, are you interested in physics? Give a thumbs up if you've ever tested some of these laws of science. A small step for man. And a giant leap for mankind! What are you up to? I'm trying to break the law of gravity. And how's it going? Ugh, I guess I can't trick gravitation that Newton was sly. <laughs> While Sammy is trying to trick the laws of nature and physics, I suggest we proceed with our craft. Let's seal the joints with the grout so it looks more neat. After all, we are dealing not only with science, but with art as well. So everything has to look beautiful. Let's remove all the extra parts. This way. It reminds me of a meringue. Do you agree, guys? Give a thumbs up if yes. Or maybe just the whipped cream. Ugh. Oh. That made me a little hungry. <laughs> Do not rush. This part needs patience. Finishing up wiping the joints with a wet cloth. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Da da. Hmm. Sammy's been so quiet. I begin to worry when he's missing for so long. This platform and a couple of bricks will form the finish station. Oh! Oops! Sammy, I heard something falling! So, you know, the flower grows up. That means it overcomes gravitation. 
Let's assume that's true. That means it breaks the law of gravity! I tried to turn it upside down. Oh, Sammy! Oh, hold on! Then the gravity took advantage of it. You know what I mean? No, not really. You have to hold on tight to your roots so gravity can't break you. I just understood that we suffered a loss in the form of a house plant. I hope that Sammy will replant it successfully. Give a thumbs up if you believe in gravity and don't try to challenge it. Meanwhile, our lower platform is ready. So our towers are absolutely identical, but we need to make a serpentine. Here's the trick. If we place one of the towers sideways, we can make two sloping roads. Ugh, Sue, I guess you're on gravity's side. What makes you say that? You're building a mechanism to roll balls on. Uh, I don't take your hint, Sammy. They will roll down, forced by gravity, since the laws apply to them. Right, so what's that gotta do with me? You're building slanted rails! This way you're helping gravity! <laughs> I guess you just came up with a perfect conspiracy theory. <laughs> Ugh, you laugh for nothing. One day I'll break gravity and I'll be able to fly! <laughs> you sound like Icarus. Like who? Oh, I'll tell you about him next time. And now, check out what we have here. Wow, science is just the best. Shall we start the race? I couldn't choose the proper suit for such an important event. So you decide to be a pilot? <laughs> I'm, as you said, Icarus. Then watch. Woo! Here we go! Graceful! They're rolling so easily! There you go again! Just enjoy them sliding! I can see you're tired of lectures? Yes, a little. Let me just relax watching this and I'll be ready to listen again! <laughs> Guys, do you like our craft? Mesmerizing, right? Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up! And hurry up and hit the bell button. See you in the next videos, which you won't miss for sure. Bye-bye.